video on this channel where I go over each configuration of safe in a more in-depth look at the components of the framework, this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to show you what goes into the Essential Safe configuration. Essential Safe starts with the support of the business owners. These are a small group of stakeholders who have the primary business and technical responsibility for a return on investment. They are key stakeholders on the Agile release train who evaluate fitness for use. They ultimately steer the art where it needs to be to successfully accomplish its goal. The art is then supported by the RTE, product management, and a system architect or engineer who work together to ensure the art functions as intended. Under the art team, you have the bread and butter of the solution development. The Agile teams, made up of the product owner, the scrum master, and the development team. These individuals develop functioning product increments to be worked together towards the end solution. The essentials of Essential Safe are built around principles such as customer centricity and design thinking, as well as systems to develop software through program backlogs, team backlogs, Scrum XP, and other developed systems like the Continuous Delivery Pipeline. Customer centricity is built on the knowledge of customers being the ultimate beneficiaries of the value of the business solutions that are created and maintained by the portfolio value streams. Customer centricity is a mindset and way of doing business that expressly focuses on creating positive experiences for the customer, a deeply integrated mindset that thinks about how the software will be integrated with the user's needs, rather than how they can use it as an afterthought. This in turn generates higher profits and better employee engagement as developers are more likely to enjoy developing a product that they know the end user is going to like. Design thinking is a customer-centric development process that creates desirable products that are profitable and supported over their life cycle, as opposed to a haphazardly designed product that is almost impossible to work on after being shipped. Program backlogs are holding areas for upcoming features, addressing user needs and delivering business benefits for a single art. Product management has responsibility over the program backlog, ensuring the items result from research and collaboration with stakeholders, part of the continuous exploration process, part of the continuous delivery pipeline, which we'll get into in a moment. Team backlogs contain user and enabler stories that originate from the program backlog, as well as stories that arise from development within the team. The product owner is responsible for the allocation and balance of the team backlog in a way that benefits both the team and the art. Scrum XP is a lightweight process designed to deliver value for self-organized teams within SAFE. It takes effective, powerful Scrum practices and combines them in extreme programming packs. Scrum XP details two essential characteristics of team and technical agility, where Scrum provides guidance for team agility and XP for technical practice. The continuous delivery pipeline represents the workflow, activities, and automation needed to create and nurture a new piece of functionality from the birth of a concept to a releasable value to the end user. It's split up into four parts, continuous exploration, continuous integration, continuous deployment, and release on demand. This pipeline is an integral part of SAFE and is an essential element of the Agile product delivery competency. Continuous integration is the process of taking features in the program backlog and developing, testing, and integrating them to the point of development and release. This is a critical technical practice for each Agile release train. It improves quality and time to market while reducing risk. Continuous deployment is a process that takes validated features and proceeds to deploy them to the production environment where they can be ready for release. This is a critical competency and allows businesses to respond quickly and effectively to market change. Release on demand is the last part of the continuous delivery pipeline, developing new functionality that has been developed and validated and releases it either immediately or incrementally based on demand. It ensures that new functionality is continuously readied and verified in the production environment. Finally, Essential Safe offers the program increment. This is a time box, typically 8 to 12 weeks long, which delivers incremental value in the form of working and tested software systems. This typically comes in the form of four development iterations, but this can change depending on the needs of the team. This is used to build and validate a system increment, as well as demonstrating value and receiving feedback quickly. For more information about Agile and Safe, be sure to subscribe to see our other videos. Remember to stay Agile.